Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Cleveland Browns franchise. Week 4 of the preseason is upon us as the Cleveland Browns get ready to face the Chicago Bears at Soldier Field. This team has dropped two straight in the preseason after a win in Week 1, losing to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Buffalo Bills. They're hoping to cut, enter the regular season on a strong note, and a win here would give them momentum going into the regular season. But it's going to depend on the play of the Cleveland Browns players today. As you can see, we're all set up for kickoff. We're just waiting for the signal to kick. Travis Benjamin is back deep to get this game underway. Robbie Gold has the ball teed up. He's ready to kick it away. And... Run up and kick off, and off we go with week four of the preseason. Benjamin on the 12, 15, 20, 25, and tackled at the 28-yard line. So here comes Johnny Manziel. He's played a solid preseason overall, nothing incredible, but he hasn't done too bad. He's fit that game manager role. So here we go. First and 10, handoff Crowell to the 31-yard line, and here's the Browns' offense. This left side of the offensive line is stacked, and the backs and receivers can do damage as well. Second and 7, Crowell again, hit and stuffed in the backfield, back at the 29-yard line. Third and 9, Manziel firing outside, and incomplete for Gary Barnage, it's a 3 and out. So here comes Cutler after a brown punt. He's, he's been doing well this preseason. Two touchdowns, one interception, and here he comes to lead his offense. First and ten, flag down. And it's encroachment on Cleveland, so it'll be first and five. First and five, Forte gets the carry, stopped in the backfield. A four-yard loss, Paul Kruger. Now first and ten. Firing outside is Bennett, flag down, and it's roughing the passer on Cleveland, 15 yards first down. So first and 10, play fade to Matt Forte, Cutler sets up, looks, throws, and completes it to Bennett, the tight end. And on first and 10 again, firing slant, caught Kevin White, breaks a tackle, breaks another, and is finally dragged down at the 1. What an incredible play. Kevin White slips three tackles, and a touchdown saving tackle is made by, I believe, and we couldn't see, but first and goal, handoff Forte, stuffed deck, the four, second and goal coming up. Second and four, Forte bounces it right into the end zone for the Chicago Bears touchdown on their opening drive. They take it all the way for the touchdown. Extra point from gold is good, and it's seven to nothing like that. Browns back on offense, Crowell to the 29-yard line, and here's the Bears' defense. Jeremiah Ratliff, Ray McDonald, Pernell McPhee, Shea McClellan, John Bostick, Tim Jennings, Micah Hyde, and Alan Ball highlight this secondary. Second and eight, Manziel firing outside, complete to Sean Drawn for a or third and seven. Manziel looking long, it's tipped. And it's intercepted! They're saying it didn't touch the ground. Are you kidding me? Tackled at the 34-yard line. Are you kidding me? There is no way that ball never touched the ground. Dwayne Bow went up and tried to get it. Allen Ball on the coverage, and he was able to slam it out of his hands. And what a play by the safety. Handoff Forte, stuffed in the backfield at the 33 and that should take us to the end of the first quarter, and it will, with the Bears leading it 7 to nothing after the end of one. Let's see if the Browns can pick up their offensive play. They haven't done very well so far. Second and 11, handoff to Kadeem Carey this time, and he gets tackled at the 40. Third and 5, Clausen completes to Bellamy for the first down, a 16-yard gain. Handoff, Carey. Flag down, and I didn't see who it was. First and ten, handoff to Carey, bounces it outside, taken down in the backfield. Second and twelve, 
Clausen over the middle. Zach Miller to the 25. Third and five. Firing and it's caught. Zach Miller for the first down on third and five. So first and ten again. Handoff. Kadeem Carey to the edge. Gets the edge and is tackled at the 13. A three yard gain. Second and seven. Handoff. Jaquiz Rogers. Flag down. Gets to the edge and is tackled. No. And it's an illegal block in the back on Chicago. So second and 14. Marques Wilson in motion. Cutler's going to throw. Cutler rolls. And he throws off the mark. Third and 14. Cutler firing. Complete. First down. And that's Josh Bellamy again. First and goal. Flag. And it's encroachment on Cleveland. So first and goal again. Wilson in motion again. First and goal. And firing. End zone. Caught. Touchdown. Marques Wilson. Number 10. The wide receiver. Let's take a look. Cutler threw a dart right over the middle, right into the arms of Mark West Wilson. And to tack on the extra point is gold, and he nails it. So first and ten, Brown's third drive of the first half, needing to get something going. Looking all the way downfield for Travis Benjamin, he can't hold on to it. Second and ten, play fake to Duke Johnson, firing outside. There's there's Rob Hausler, and he stays in bounds. That forces Cleveland to hurry it up. The clock keeps running. First and ten, play fake, firing outside, and dropped by Travis Benjamin again. Second and ten, play fake, and Lewis barely getting it off before getting crushed. Third and ten, looking, looking, sacked at the 34. Timeout, Chicago. Bears back on offense, looking for more, and he throws incomplete. Second and 10, Clausen firing outside. Bellamy to the 34, clock keeps moving. Third and 8, Clausen looking, throws it away, and that will give Cleveland the ball back with 42 seconds. There's a chance for more points, and there's a flag, and the pass is dropped by Travis Benjamin, and there's holding on Cleveland, and they will take a knee and send this game to halftime. 14 to nothing, the halftime score. The Bears dominating in almost every statistical category. As you can see right here, they are absolutely dominating this game. And the way they are playing, they absolutely deserve to be in the lead. Cleveland has to pick their pace up in the second half. Back in the second half, Bears start off with the ball. Flag down, Cutler firing. There's Martellus Bennett across the 45. And there's holding on Chicago. It's coming back, first and 19. Clausen looking, firing outside, and broken up by Chris Kirksey, the middle linebacker. Second and 19. Clausen at the goal line, steps up, throws, and is nearly intercepted by the Browns. Third and 19. Clausen waits, checks it down. Kadeem Carey not going to get the first down, gets back to the 20. Kirksey on the tackle. So Browns back. Thad Lewis looks, throws over the middle, got Carey Bornage to the 47 yard line. Second and six, handoff Duke Johnson to midfield. Third and two, handoff Johnson, and he's short, stopped at the 48. It'll be fourth and one, and they're going to keep the offense. Fourth and one, handoff Johnson, and he gets the first down. Keeps his legs moving past the 45 to the 44-yard line. First and ten, Manzel, or not Manzel, Lewis throws down to the flat. There's Sean drawn to the 34-yard line of Chicago. Second and inches, drawn on the ground this time, and he gets a yard and the first down. First and 10, play fake to Sean drawn, gets cut down, and launching it deep is Lewis for Hartline. He overthrew him incomplete. Second and 10, read option, stuffed in the backfield, flag down, and it's a legal block in the back on Cleveland, so second and 20. Looking, and sacked again by the Bears defense. It's Mason Foster on the linebacker blitz. Third and 28. Lewis throwing deep, wide open. Hartline makes the catch inside the 10 and down to the 7. Are you kidding me? On third and 28, they left Hartline wide open behind the defense. And they're lucky that wasn't a touchdown. So first and goal, handoff Duke Johnson down to the 4-yard line. Second and goal coming up. Handoff Duke Johnson again spins off of one man and tackles and gets tackled in the end zone for the touchdown. 
on the last play of the third quarter. And the extra point is shanked. No good. And that is a big blow to this team as we reach the end of three. But the missed extra point could come back to haunt us if we score down the road and need a two-point conversion. So back in the fourth, Chicago with the ball. Matt Forte to the 34-yard line. Second and two. Handoff carry stopped in the backfield. Stopped for no gain at the 34, I mean. Third and two. Handoff carry stopped. Danny Shelton and but that's going to force a turnover and duke johnson is getting the carry to the 25 second and five fake to duke johnson looking firing outside and it's tipped nearly picked off by the bears looking for rob hausler in the corner third and five firing outside and it's incomplete with a flag and that's going to be pass interference on the defensive back travis benjamin everyone in the stadium could see that's pass interference and indeed it is so first and 10, play fake to Duke Johnson, firing outside. There's Duke Johnson with the speed to the 37, a gain of six. Second and four, play fake to Duke Johnson. Lobbing outside, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by the Bears, but there's a flag down. And it's holding on Cleveland. The Bears will get the ball back and get a chance to run clock. Handoff, carry, stuffed, flag down. Illegal block in the back on Josh Bellamy of Chicago. First and 20. Clausen fires a strike on the money to Bellamy who had the penalty earlier. Are you kidding me? This defense has played so well this second half. And to give it up like this would be absolutely heartbreaking as Bellamy beats the corner. Justin Gilbert and him and Kwan Williams combine on the tackle. First and 10. Clausen outside and broken up and complete looking for Wilson. Second and 10. Handoff to the 32. That's Carey. Third and 7. Carey up the middle and he's taken down. Back at the 33. There's an injury timeout. Fourth and 7. A long field goal is good from 50 yards out. First and 10. Looking. Firing outside and incomplete for Joe Thomas. The left tackle turn tight end. Second and 10. Outside, there's Hausler to the 33-yard line. First and 10 again. Play fake to Duke Johnson. Firing deep. Wide open. Joe Thomas makes the catch and is tackled at the 41 of Chicago. They have a chance. First and 10. He's chucking it outside. That's Duke Johnson. Brace in one tackle. Another three tackles and gets out of bounds at the 34, stopping the clock. Second and three. Lewis. End zone. And is nearly intercepted, flag down, pass interference on the Bears. The ball spotted at the one. First and goal, Lewis, end zone, touchdown, Jim Dre. Two-point conversion incoming. Two-point conversion, the play of the game, Lewis, Jim Dre. Two-point conversion, onside kick time. Onside kick is recovered by the Bears. And one first down will end the game. Handoff carry, timeout Cleveland, second and 12. Handoff to Quiz Rogers, stuffed. Timeout, final timeout Cleveland, third and 13. Clausen takes a knee, and this could be the final snap. Coming, sacked, and the game is over. The Chicago Bears win, 17 14, and the game is over. That is it. The Chicago Bears come through in the clutch and win the game late on a 50-yard field goal by Robbie Gold. As you can see, our run defense played an outstanding, holding the Bears to negative one rushing yards. But they, Cleveland mounted a serious second-half comeback, but it was all for naught. So let's take a look at the player stats from the game. For quarterbacks, Thad Lewis was 9 of 16, 131. Clausen 9 of 15 for 94. Cutler 4 of 4 for 63. And Manziel 1 of 3 for 1 yard. So I don't think we're going to look at many stats this game. See you guys next time. Bye. Or no, that's not the end. We're looking at rushing stats now. As you can see, we go down the list. Jaquiz Rogers is there. Drawn had 1 carry for 1 yard. Receiving. Josh Bellamy, 4 for 59. Duke Johnson, 2 for 13. Bennett, 2 for 24. Milson, 2 for 17. Hausler, 2 for 34. Miller, 2 for 16. Carey, 1 for 9. Cameron Irving had a pancake. Seymour and Groy had a pancake. 
Brock Marine had three tackles. Nate Orchard did two. Anthony Jefferson did. Craig Robertson had two. Bad Mossy had two. Gibson had two. Mason Foster had two. Looking at kicking, Robbie Gold was one of one for that 50-yard field goal. Pat O'Donnell had more punting yards than Andy Lee, 203 to 105. Josh Bellamy had one return for 19. Benjamin had zero for zero. And thank you for watching. The preseason recap video will be out soon. And that's the end of the preseason. And week one of the regular season against the Jets will be out soon. Thank you for watching and bye.